Guys, Caterpillar729 here with my first model review. It's on the Hitachi Zaxxas 450L C excavator in 150th scale, manufactured by Ertl. Um, it, I got this off of 3,000 toys. Um, it retails for 30 bucks, but I actually got it for uh, 17. It was on sale. And hurry up if you want to get this, which I would highly recommend it. It's a really nice excavator. But um, if you do want it, um, it's listed retired on 3,000 toys. So um, with Christmas coming up, I would definitely recommend getting that or else it's going to be gone by the end of the holidays. So um. So it's uh, 103,000 pounds, which is just over 50 tons, and um, it, it, it does have um, metal tracks, which is a good thing, you can see here. Metal tracks roll really nice, they're smooth, but um, the thing about metal tracks is they're usually $50 and above. Well, not the tracks alone, the, the excavator. If an excavator has model tracks, usually. So, so that's that's a really cool thing. And, um, like all metal tracks, they can break because they're just links. But these ones seem pretty durable. They're, they're really nice. Um, they, they really don't roll well unless they're on a hard surface. So if you're doing, like, stop motions, don't even bother trying to roll them on a dirt. It, it, it just won't work. Um, and, and also, when you pick it up, you notice the tracks hang down a lot. It's because um, the rolls and sprockets. Ertl made these tracks. They designed them for the Deer 200 uh, CLC and DLC. And so the reason why they hang down is just because they're in other models. I don't know why they didn't make new ones. I guess they were lazy. Um, and then the, uh, hold on, gotta move the box. Box, it's not that interesting. Got a picture of the stuff. So the, and then, uh, if you move it back, you look there. It's got a nice wide undercarriage. And, um, so, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a good wide undercarriage. Sorry, it's a little dusty, dirty, whatever, out of here, for some reason. Uh, it, and wide undercarriages are good because they, they do help to balance out, <clears throat> sorry, they do help to balance out the uh, excavator itself or the machine itself. And then the tracks themselves are wide too, which again gives it more balance and also Oh yeah, and also the um, metal tracks, they're less likely to fall off than rubber ones, so that's a plus. And I, I really don't know why it's so cheap, I mean, with metal tracks, it, it's a really amazing deal. Again, I really highly recommend it. But, um, the undercarriage, although it's wide, I mean, I don't know, it, it, <laughs> this thing looks a little big, you know, the orange piece right there. The undercarriage looks a little low, but it's hard to judge. Alright, so starting the review, um, getting in detail around it. Um, right here is the cab, obviously. It's a nice cab. It looks pretty nice. Um, inside it is the same as every cab. Really hard to see in here, but you can just barely make out the, the uh, dash and stuff in there. And the, I don't know if it includes levers. I can't see through the camera. It it might. It's got the seat and stuff. But um, so yeah, <clears throat> and um, so it's just usual plastic insert. You know, <clears throat> like everything basically. And um, this a downfall right here. This ladder is plastic. Um, so you got a plastic ladder, plastic mirror, and mirror there on the plastic handrail, too. 
So those are some downfalls, but I mean it's so cheap that it's hard to even think about complaining about it. And also this piece right here, it's like a little lining piece right there is, that the mirror's on. It's, I, I don't know what you call it, but it's plastic too. Um, so yeah, if you, if you're gonna want an all metal model, then this definitely is an all metal, but it, it's still a really nice model. And also, you'll see it includes a catwalk. And it's hard to see, but you can make out a little, it's got these little rectangles, and those are the anti-slip texture. So, it, it does have anti-slip texture, which is nice. And it's not just to simulate, it's actual bumps. And, um, catwalks are nice. I, I like them. And for such a big machine, I, I think it's, it's good to have a catwalk. Ties the side together. And you really don't see catwalks on a lot of excavators these days. I don't know why, but you don't. Alright, you know what? Before I get up, get over there, I will show you the top. Um, this large rectangle right there, that is actual anti-slip texture or by the engine compartment and stuff to walk up there and service it and then all these little smaller black rectangles those are just uh, paint spots to um, sim uh, simulate the anti-slip texture um, uh, the, the um, filter that's metal, that's all metal uh, the exhaust deck that is like rubber. I think that's the, it's like that weird rubber type thing. And then you can see the hinge right there on the uh, engine compartment. And that is because I um, can't do it with one hand. I don't know. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can. Oh, what do you know? It was half open. But anyway, um, let's see. Oh, got it. Alright. So, um, and it reveals the uh, fairly detailed engine. It, it's okay. It's nice. It's a good detail. And for such a great price, too. Alright. Um, here is the, um, back. And it's got these two here, these two small indents there, which is probably supposed to replicate where the, uh, warning lights were. Probably supposed to symbolize that in some way. And then up here, um, you can sort of see, yeah, right there, you can see the bolt detail right there. And, uh, these hooks and bolts back there. And, um, the grill. It is not etched through, but, in a way, it got grills up there, too. And then when you move along to the right side, uh, the thing that stands out the most is the grill, probably, when you first see Oh, yes, and it, it's it's a nice size counterweight, yeah. It's a really nice counterweight on the back, um, especially for such a big bucket. And so on the right side, you see the grill, and uh, that's not etched either, but, um, you know, uh, I got this idea from um, 328DLCR um, on YouTube. They have a video review on this too. You can go to their channel and watch it. And uh, but they said if you like take a paintbrush, a really small paintbrush, which I don't even know if they make them that small, they might, or a toothpick, which I think would be better. Um, then you could just use a little black paint and paint that there. So, and I I think I'm gonna do that. I, I'll probably do that later tonight. Post the video tomorrow or whatever. This will probably be up tomorrow too. I don't know. And then, uh, see the decals there, the Zaxxas 450LC, and then the, and I, I like the paint scheme, scheme, sorry, of Hitachi, the, the nice orange, it, it looks nice, and then Hitachi across the boom, of course, but, um, then you see right here the service steps, and every single step, even these two little ones, that are all orange and these two black pieces. It's all it's all um anti slip texture, which is a nice addition. See the track down there, and so that's the right side basically. Um, and then of course the plastic handrail and mirror. A little downfall. 
and um, so yeah, that's the right side. Then if you look here, it's got uh, rubber hydraulic lines, but it's not that bad of a rubber. I mean, it's definitely not metal, but it moves quite a bit at the bottom, but up here it barely moves. Only that one does. It's two are like connected, so they don't really move. And it runs into the swing. And the good thing about it, even though it's rubber and stuff and you can see where it sticks up, it runs into the right places, like, um, right there, into that, into the, uh, uh, cylinder, sorry, and into that cylinder. And, um, right here, it turns to metal for a little bit, and then it turns back to rubber. So, yeah, it's metal there, and then it turns back to rubber here to uh, simulate the actual black uh, lines. Line right there, and on the other side, too, you can see them both. And, um, goes down into that. And so, that's the boom, and then uh, the stick. I mean, it's a little short. It would have been nicer to see a bigger stick on such a large excavator, but I guess not. And, um, here's the bucket. Now, this is what I'm thinking. Same person who, um, suggested, uh, the grill idea with the toothpick. They also said on their review about, um, they said that, um, the, the bucket on the back of the box. Here, I'll show you. On the back of the box, right there it says three yard bucket. You can barely make it out. And he says that it, it's bigger in real life. And I I have never seen the real Hitachi. Yes, this is also available in um, John Deere. It's the same exact excavator, only um, John Deere logo and colors and stuff. And in real life, it is the same thing. But uh, anyway, um. I've never seen the real Hitachi, but I have seen the real deer. And, um, it, it's about three yards. I think it might be a little bigger, though. So, I don't know. Um, it's got nice teeth. Uh, the back of the bucket. Um, does the, the hole is not etched out for the, um, uh, lifting hook. But, and it's got bucket guarding. It's a really nice size bucket. It's large, and I like it. It... And the uh, and the cylinders they can support a um, reasonable size load too. So it's got nice teeth. Um, it it doesn't have any um cutting edges, but I mean custom buckets. It's just some pins and stuff. <coughs> oh, bad thing about the boom is you can see the rivets. And that's because it is a two-piece cast. You can see the line running. I'm all the way up, and I'm off the whiteboard. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. And, uh, the hydraulics on this excavator are really, really smooth. Hold on. They're really smooth. Um, the stick and the boom. <clears throat> but the bucket's a little stiff, but it, sometimes it makes it easier. Because it, it holds better sometimes than, than the uh, boom. The stick usually holds pretty well, though. And, um, but the, and, oh, yeah, the digging depth. Put it back down. Um, it's really not deep. See, that's the digging depth. It's not too deep. But, um, you could... What you could do is um cut the cylinder a tiny bit, really as far as the fat end goes, probably about an eighth of an inch, I guess. Um, and um, it, it would give you a lot more digging depth. So yeah, that that it, the digging depth isn't too big. But um, so yeah, that's that's basically the excavator and. Of course, I said it's for $30, 23 and 25 somewhere else. I don't know where, but I've, I've heard it. And, uh, yeah, it's really cheap, and it's really nice. I would definitely recommend getting it. So there you go, review on the uh, 
Hitachi Zax's 450 LC Excavator. I'm uh, Caterpillar79. Goodbye.